Welcome once again to our daily devotions, Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. My name is Pastor Poppy. Our Bible reading for today is a portion of Psalm 27. It is the introit for the fifth Sunday after Trinity to help us prepare for our divine service tomorrow and for our worship throughout the week. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud. Be gracious to me and answer me. O you who have been my help, forsake me not, O God of my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Give me not up to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me. They breathe out violence. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud. Be gracious to me and answer me. O you who have been my help, forsake me not, O God of my salvation. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we have these words from King David under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud. David is crying out to God because he's in trouble. He has a problem. He's asking for the grace of God, that which he does not deserve, earn, merit. He's asking for God to answer him. As God promises, David cries out. David cries out and he longs to have God hear his prayer and answer him. And then he says, O oh, you who have been my help, forsake me not, O God of my salvation. David is looking at the past action of God to give him hope for the future. I'm sure many of you have received offers in the mail, people who want you to invest your time or probably your money with them. They give you all kinds of details with regard to how successful they've been in the past. And then there'll be a little disclaimer. Past action is no guarantee of future success. That's really how we've been conditioned to think in our world, isn't it? Just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen that same way in the future. Look at all the changes that have gone on in the last three or four months in our world. Certainly we can't look to the past to predict how the future will turn out. But that is not the case with God. God who is changeless, immutable, the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. God will not change the rules in the middle of the game. He will not move the goalposts when you're getting ready to kick. When God gives you a word, it is sure and certain you can take it to the bank. God promises that he will always hear the prayers of his children. That's you. God gives you a promise. He will always hear your prayer. He will not turn a deaf ear to you. You can count on that promise. You can hold God to that promise. It's sure. And it's certain. But God promises much more than that, doesn't he? He promises not only that he will hear your prayer, your cries of agony, your groaning, God promises that he will do something about it. God promises that he will hear your prayer and act. My friends, this is God's grace in action. There is nothing in us that merits or earns or deserve God to act on our behalf. He does it purely out of fatherly goodness 
and mercy. God is gracious to his children. He gives us what we don't deserve. He gives us what we need. According to the words of Psalm 27, he gives us salvation. Salvation. Forgiveness. Life. Eternal, eternity with him in heaven. This is God's gift to you in and through the son of David, Jesus Christ, his perfect life, his obedient death, his glorious resurrection for you, for me, and for the life of the world. The world is full of changes. The world is constantly bombarded by sin, death, and the power of the devil. We live in this world, and so the things that happen in this world will certainly affect us. But God does not want us to lose hope. When trials and temptations and simply the uncertainty of this world afflict us and drag us down and tempt us to despair, we are reminded of the promises of God. He is our light and our salvation. He is the stronghold of our life. We have nothing to fear because of what God has done for us through Jesus Christ. And he invites us. He invites us to cry out to him, to bring our prayers, our petitions, our sorrows, our complaints, even our groanings. He will hear. He will act. He will love. He will forgive. He will never forsake his children. He will never forsake you. The Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is our light and our salvation. We have nothing to fear. And now, when we cry aloud to God, we know that he will hear us. He will forgive us. Why? For the sake of his Son. Jesus Christ, crucified and risen for you. Thanks be to God. Amen. We pray now the litany, Lutheran service book, page 288. Page 288. O Lord, have have mercy. mercy. O Christ, have have mercy. mercy. O Lord, have have mercy. mercy. O Christ, hear hear us. God, the Father in heaven, have have mercy. mercy. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have have mercy. God, the Holy Spirit, have have mercy. mercy. Be gracious to us. Spare Spare us, us, good Lord. Lord. Be gracious to us. Help Help us, us, good Lord. Lord. From all sin, from all error, from all evil, from the crafts and assaults of the devil, from sudden and evil death, from pestilence and famine, from war and bloodshed, from sedition and from rebellion, from lightning and tempest, from all calamity by fire and water, and from everlasting death. Good Good Lord, Lord, deliver deliver us by the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, help help us, good Lord, in all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death, and in the day of judgment, help us, good Lord, We poor sinners implore you to hear us, O Lord, to rule and govern your holy Christian church, to preserve all pastors and ministers of your church in the true knowledge and understanding of your wholesome word and to sustain them in holy living, to put an end to all schisms and causes of offense, to bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived, to beat down Satan under our feet, to send faithful laborers into your harvest, and to accompany your word with your grace and spirit 
We implore you to hear us, good Lord, to raise those who fall and to strengthen those who stand and to comfort and help the weak-hearted and the distressed. We implore you to hear us, good Lord, to give to all peoples concord and peace, to preserve our land from discord and strife, to give our country your protection in every time of need, to direct and defend our president and all in authority, to bless and protect our magistrates and all our people, to watch over and help all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation, to protect and guide all who travel, to grant all women with child and all mothers with infant children increasing happiness in their blessings, to defend all orphans and widows and provide for them, to strengthen and keep all sick persons and young children, to free those in bondage, and to have mercy on us all, we implore you to hear us, good Lord, to forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to tur turn their hearts, to give and preserve for our use the kindly fruits of the earth, and graciously to hear our prayers. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, we implore you to hear us. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, grant, grant us your, your peace. peace. O Christ, hear, hear us. us. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. O Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful God, in this earthly life we endure sufferings and death before we enter into eternal glory. Grant us grace at all times to subject ourselves to your holy will and to continue steadfast in the true faith to the end of our lives that we may know the peace and joy of the blessed hope of the resurrection of the dead and of the glory of the world to come. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.